Oh, by the way, let me zoom into this and I want to set a preset. So what you can do, as Paul's showing us, he's zooming into the little Lego guys. Now, if you scroll through the preset menu there and go to a new preset. Oh, I got to This is hard for me to do so that people can see this. Yeah, because you can't block it off. You can see that different images as I twist this dial. I don't know if, Mike, you can zoom in a little more on the, this just this area right here. But as I twist this dial, the images are changing. And when you press the screen, it'll lock in. So now when I click the screen, that will set a preset? It will move to that current oh, preset that you're and on. And then I hold the button and, and it, it'll store the image. Exactly, yep. Got it, okay. So let me go back to those Lego men. And then as soon as you lock in that preset that you like, you can simply tap on the image of the preset and it'll take you right back there. Can you show the diagonal button again for Emmanuel? There is a diagonal button. Wait, I thought oh, you just click it. You just click it once. Yep, you click it once to show the preview image, and then if you scroll back to another preset, you can. So if I scroll back, say, okay, I do want to go there. So you scroll to it. Boom. And as you're scrolling, you're seeing images of what you want, but you you haven't selected it until you hit the screen, just the like screen. that, and snap Very focus nice. on his own. So That's as simple cool. as that. That's nice. So you can have the preview of the image directly on the screen there. You could even have the preview of the image as your buttons. And Paul, you have a second page there as well too, right? That's a so, good point. So I've got the second page. 